हे गाइस आई एम निशान एंड वेलकम टू साइबर नाइटिको सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न अबाउट हेल्पर फंक्शंस इन रिएक्ट एज यू सी हियर यू हैव अ फंक्शन कॉल्ड गेट यूजर्स दैट्स गेटिंग द यूजर्स फ्रॉम दिस एपीआई कॉल वी आर सिंपली कॉलिंग द फंक्शन टू गेट द यूजर्स फाइन बट लेट्स सपोज अ केस वेयर दिस एपीआई कॉल वी हैव टू डू in 10 different files or like 50 different files or components so we have to repeat this function all over directly we have to make an api call to this api endpoint using fetch api or axios then call this then post it i mean put it inside the use effect hook like this but that's not proper so in this case we will create a helper function so let's create a folder called helpers and in the folder let's create a file called get users or get all users dot js copy this function const get users and add it here make it export and we don't need this console we will simply return this function see and that's all for now for the helper function now we have a helper function to get the users from this api call and we can call it in any file we want and that made our things easy so now now let's import this function we can say get users from uh, helpers slash get all users and we are done but a few things before that we have to return it in a let variable so this is returning some value the data after fetching the results all this 10 array items so we have to store it inside a variable called data then we can simply console.log this data and if we will refresh the page we will get this promise so we have to create another function we can use async await here but it's not proper so make a function called const get users helper it will be an arrow function like this move these two things or cut things here and then call it here it will still be a promise so we have to use a async function make it async and get users will be a wait now let's check so refresh the page now we can get all the data here directly without calling any API in our main file. So that's make our app.js or any component in which we help use the helper function clean and easy to use and understand. So the logic is separate from here and the UI is separate. Now let's take one more example. Let me create one more helper function here, which will be called add to dot js this will add to numbers so we'll do export const let's say add nums make it an arrow function again okay what i'm doing equals to this syntax then in this function we will simply turn the a plus b so this a plus b we have to get it somewhere from somewhere so we will get it from arguments then if we uh, call the function, we have to pass a and b here. So copy this function name, add nums, come here, we can simply call the function add nums from helpers slash add to. So we can call the function. So let's create one more. So let's say const add to nums helper then we can simply call this function like this then let's add a button here say add and on the button we have an only event we can have and this function call now it will return this but we have to store it in some variable so we can say let sum equals to this and we can simply 
console the sum console dot log sum now click the button okay we can just comment this data console here now add click add we will see n n n n n means not a number because we are not passing any arguments or parameters because it's getting two so we can pass two numbers directly say two and three and now if we click add we will we will get five here in line number 14 in app.js file so that was function a function to add two numbers using a helper function suppose we want to add one more function here called sum so we had sum already we can say const multiply so we can do return a multiplied by b it will also take two things because c a and b are not defined in add to wait a second in add to yes it's not defined so we have to define it then it will multiply and return us back the multiplied number so here we can do or simply import it first so it multiply the function name or let's later make it multiply nums so copy this function name and add it here import it first so we have the sum here we can also have let's let multi pulse equals to multiply sums and let's add two numbers two and four then we can console the same thing so what is the problem multiply nums was not found in helpers add two save this then it will work let's add one more button for multiplication but we can use it as also so if we click we will get sum and multiplied numbers so five two plus three five and two into four equal to eight i think i'm correct that's all. so let me show you one last thing here we are calling this get users helper function i mean we are having a function of get users helpers in this we are calling get users this function we can pass a param here as well so for example if you see we have something like posts comments albums all things so let's try to add the posts here past a variable called posts i mean not a variable a string it will come in the get users function and we can receive the users we can receive it as params or param then let me convert this into string literals here then we can simply replace user with the param so if we pass anything here in this function of get users it will come up here it will append to the api endpoint and it will call so now i will get all the posts refresh comment uncomment this data and we are getting all the 100 posts see if you pass to do's we will get to do's so let's pass to do's so now it became just it just it became dynamic it just became dynamic yes now if it is refresh the page it will be to do's 200 this if we can check the network tab so let's open network refresh let me filter it to xhr and fetch api let me turn it network all settings where is the filter i think settings slow 3g to fast or no throttling now you will see we are reading to do's here if you open headers this will be to do's if you make it as photos we will see photos in the console it refresh and we are reading photos so it just became dynamic so that is hard or that is what is a helper function in react and how to use it 